The HPV virus is a commonly spread virus through sexual transmission. In fact, we believe uh, that by the time a person's 50 years old, 80% of those people living in the United States have been exposed and infected with HPV virus. Um, it's silent. Most of us clear it without any difficulty, and yet those of us who might carry it for two years might infect another person. Uh, a small number of these people will then un uh, will suffer cancerous changes to the parts that were exposed to the virus, leading to cervical cancer, cancer of other genital um, uh, organs. Um, um, it even now explains a fair amount of head and neck cancer. Um, now these sexually transmitted viruses are things that we don't like to think about. Um, and frankly, we'd like our teenagers to put off being sexually exposed for years and years as appropriate. But we now have a vaccine that um, actually addresses 70% of these viruses that cause these cancers that's nearly 100% effective and is very safe. But it has to be given in three doses over a six-month period long before the person becomes sexually active. Frankly, we time it here at Mayo Clinic to give it between 9 and 12 years of age because that's when the body best responds to the vaccine. And when a teen or a preteen is most likely to be able to make those three visits in a timely fashion. Parents, um, both by survey and in the office, report these concerns with the vaccine. They perceive that it's not safe. They perceive that their child's too young for the, the um, vaccine. They perceive that their child will never need the vaccine. Um, they, um, and those three actually color a lot of the conversations I have with them. In fact, this is a vaccine that's been well studied before it was licensed in 2006. And since then, we actually have large numbers of studies and large populations to show that it's actually a very effective and very safe vaccine, despite the fact that we are still struggling uh, to get parents to get their children vaccinated, um, we're already seeing an impact on disease. It's already lowering the rate of cervical cancer in the United States.